Just go. Smoke them. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Love it. What is up, everybody? It's Connor Eilish here back at it with another YouTube video. Today, what we're going to be doing, or should I say tonight, what we're going to be doing is we're actually after these invasive species out here in South Florida called snakehead. I'm with my buddy Austin behind the camera and uh, we're going to be using artificial bait, you know, mimics a frog. So uh, yeah, hopefully we can get tight on these invasive species. Not only are we going to be fishing for them, but later on in the video where you can hopefully keep a few of these invasive species because they are invasive. So you, they, they do recommend you get them out of the canals here in South Florida. But anyways, we're going to bring them back to the house and hopefully feed our monster fish. You know, me and Austin have a lot of monster fish, so hopefully we can feed them. And uh, yeah, it should be an awesome video. I'll see you guys in just a second. We're going to get over to the lake and hopefully catch a monster snakehead. Let's do it. Peace. And yeah, basically what we're going to be doing is just working the frog just like so and in front of snakeheads with this light. And usually it gets the job done. Oh, there we go. That, that light actually works a lot better. Look at this guard, guys. He was just chilling up in the shallows just like the snakeheads do. Check this out. Austin's going to run the frog by his face. Don't hook him, though. Just watch. Oh. <laughs> that was sick. He's in total feeding mode right now. All right, we've seen about three snakeheads. We just walked a little bit of the bank, but we're going to keep pushing, keep looking for them. Austin, come on. You got to get the first snakehead, oh, no, my boy. got to get it done. Get the skunk out of the boat. You got to get the first Please. one. All right, y'all. Austin, you better smoke this guy. Well, he'll get it. Come on, Austin. Yeah, what a, what a cast, my boy. Give it to him right on his, give it to him five feet in front of his head. He didn't want it. All right. It's all good. It's a spook, though. It's, it's all good. Bro, what are you putting your boogers, buddy? I'm, itch, I'm gonna yeah. put you on blast. I'm itch. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Another frog, y'all. That's what I mean by matching the hatch. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. ribbit. Oh my god, that's a toad, Austin. Watch out. You're gonna eat. Just go. Smoke him. Give it, give it another go. Do that one rip. We gotta keep moving it, keep moving it. We gotta keep moving it. Just keep moving it around his face. There he is. Oh! Oh! No, he didn't eat it. Bro, that was a stud. He missed it again. Bro, that was a stud. He was like a good four or five pounds. Damn, bro, he was nice. Oh, dude, look at that. He ripped his fucking lips off. God dang it, man. I mean, that'll yeah. still work. That'll, let me see that. No, I know it'll still work. Yeah, that'll still work. All right. Yeah, ripped his lips off. Ripped his lips off. How do you feel about that? I feel pretty bad. It was nice. <laughs> okay, we'll see when Paul We're going to get another one, but we'll it's just, it you're fumbling the bag, me. Austin. The first few, you know, it's actually my turn. He's fumbling. He's fucking missing. My turn, He's buddy. He's my turn. All right, you guys. Let's see what Austin can do here. Get it right by his face. Out of boy, out of boy, out of boy. Oh yeah. Get him, get him out of those weeds. Get him out of those weeds. It's a nice one. It's a nice one. Oh yeah. Out of boy. Out of boy. We don't want to be too loud out here. Just had to, just had to get the skunk out of the way. Yeah, <laughs> just had to get the skunk out of the way. About time, my boy. Hey, I'm the new guy. First snakehead of the night, y'all. Check him out. Hold him up for the cam. Shoot it, buddy. Munch that, oh yeah and i think what we're going to be doing well we are going to actually you know put this guy down and uh have him for fish food aren't we awesome mm, yes sir Heck yeah i mean they are invasive they're really fun to catch though but they aren't invasive but they are really cool oh Not yeah really really cool fun start to the night y'all now it's my turn to catch him Yeah, he's not, he should be good. 
go. Hell yeah, nice one. Bro. Heck yeah. Really nice one. He choked that frog. Oh yeah, awesome. Alrighty guys, so we got it done. We got our first snakehead of the night. Well, Austin already got one as you guys saw, but check this guy out. Another solid one. These guys are slimy. Check them out though. Beautiful invasive species out here in South Florida. Snakehead, Cycassidum, awesome. All right guys, let's continue on with the night. Let's hopefully catch some more. It's a beautiful start to the night besides awesome start uh oh yeah we got it on the red bone rod with that beyond braid you already know the deal let's keep doing it guys we're gonna actually dispatch this one as well it's gonna be good fish food so we're gonna have a beating tomorrow at austin's at my house can't wait for that hell yeah i can't be too loud out here because it is a neighborhood gotta keep it on the low side but hell yeah another stud let's try to get a stud stud though let's try to get like a an eight pounder yeah. Oof, definitely pretty. a four or five pounder we're gonna have to get some guy. more, y'all. It's getting late though. It's about 1:30. We uh actually snapped the rod. <laughs> I'll, I'll put that clip in right now. It's actually crazy. Oh my god! Of course he did, bro. Austin was a little, you know, tight about it, but you know. It is what it is. We got a snakehead, got a new rod. We had to bring out the red bone rod, you know. Austin's test rod wasn't so good. All right, I'll see y'all soon. Let's go catch some more snakehead. See you. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh. You see, guys, that just goes to show you how many of them there are. This is not the first time we missed them tonight. If you can get him. Boom. I mean, they choke the frog half the time, but you know, sometimes you just gotta get that perfect set hook and it doesn't always go as planned. But yeah, not there's just a ton, a ton, a ton of snakeheads out here. So we're not even making a dent in the population. Um, let's keep it moving. Let's try to catch another one. Let's do it. Do one right here, guys. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> Heck yeah, guys. Got him again. And he choked it, just like the other one. Whew. These things are just amazing fish to catch. These, as you guys can see, they blow up on the bait like no other. It's just, wow. Another beautiful snakehead, you guys. And uh, check them out. They call them coconut heads. Come here and listen to this. The head is hard, just like a coconut. Another beautiful one, y'all. Whew, it's getting late in the night. It's about 2 o'clock now, 2.30. Yep. It's late. Another snakehead, y'all. We got some good fish food coming home. Thank you. Show them the lineup, Austin. Awesome. Get him. Get him, dude. Oh, he's still hooked. All right. All right, but right, go easy. Go easy. Nice fish. Yeah, I'm on, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah, y'all. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Nice fish. Nice fish. Get him in, baby. Get him in. Hell yeah. Good way to end the night. Hell Check yeah. Out, guys. Oh, he broke off. Whoa. Gotta be slick with these Don't guys. Don't lose the frog. Oh, can't lose the last frog. All right, y'all. Check him out. Beautiful. Another beautiful snakehead. Got it done. What is that, the fourth or fifth of the night? We've seen countless, probably seen about 50. You know, some of them spooked, some of them just didn't want the bait. And uh, yeah, just a bunch of different scenarios, but a beautiful fish. We're gonna get right back to it, hopefully get another one on the way out. We're on our way out right now. We got plenty of fish food, but you know, some fun fishing here, we love it. Let's catch another one. All right, you guys, so it is the next day. I'm back here at Austin's house. And as you guys can see, we did absolutely amazing last night we got a lot of these snakeheads we were out there real late so i decided just to end the video uh we kept walking the bank we didn't really see much and uh we pretty much just ended the night it was just an awesome night we got a bunch of snakeheads so yeah now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna clean these things up 
you know, fillet them up, bag them up so that we have fish food for the future. Not only that, but we're gonna feed some of Austin's giant red tail catfish. I know you guys have seen those before. We're gonna feed them and uh, yeah, then we're gonna wrap up the video right there. So let's clean all these things up and uh, get her done. All right, you guys, we're gonna fillet these things. I'm gonna show you guys how I like to do it to get as much meat as I can for these fish. All right, you guys, so these are the fillets. We've been working at it for just a little bit here. Austin's going at it right now. We're trying to get as much meat as we can, as you guys can see. Don't want to waste nothing. But yeah, I'll see you guys in just a minute. We're going to go feed the fish these beautiful, awesome fillets. You guys, so we're at the pond, and uh, we got to wake these pond monsters up. So, Austin, what are we doing here? Waking just making them up. them up. Waking them up. Letting them know we're here. Letting them know they're ready to get fed. Letting them know we got some awesome meat here to feed them. So let's do it. Oh, look at that guy on top. We got a hybrid on top. Hybrid shovel nose. Oh, cool. Oh, here, let's feed him this piece of snakehead here first. This little piece. Oh, buddy smoked it. Yeah. We got a bigger piece here. Let's see who can get this thing. Now we're gonna see who's gonna grab this whole snakehead carcass. Oh boy. The red tails aren't coming up right now. There's some big old red tail catfish in this pond. Of course not. All right, so usually there's a bunch of big red tail catfish that just thrive under this dock, but uh, I'm not gonna lie, we did feed them yesterday. And uh, sometimes they just get full from time to time. I think we're gonna wrap the video up right here. No, 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 wait. What? We still got your fish. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we gotta go back to my house and feed my red tail catfish and a bunch of other stuff that we have at the house. So, uh, let's go finish it off over there. This carcass, just chuck it in and let the monsters eat it off the bottom. I think so. All right, let's do it. See ya. Nice chum. That is going to be demolished by tonight, no doubt. That thing's going to be gone. All right, I'll see you guys in my house. Let's do it. Yeah, that sexy beast. All right, you guys, so it's been just a little bit, and uh, we have our snakehead here in a bag. Let's feed our uh, monsters at my house. We're at the pool pond in the backyard. You guys know we got Big Bertha here. Silver arowana and the albino hockey. Let's uh, feed these guys. Oh, Ooh. holy smoke! Smoke it. it. He's aggressive, guys. He's aggressive. Come here, Bertha. Oh, look at Bertha getting all fired up on my. Hey, chill <laughs> out. Oh, for the hockey. All right, come here, Bertha. You getting all fired up? Come here, Bertha. Come here, Bertha. Gotta wash my hands. They love that snakehead. God damn. Let's feed him again. Come back, bro. We got quickie coming. He's chained. Oh. You hear vacuum. that? You hear that? That's like a vacuum. All right, let's feed this guy real quick. Slurpage. Slurpage. All of these fish like the snakehead. So that's a good sign. We know we can go out and get plenty more of this stuff. Let's go inside my room and see if the groupers in the saltwater tank like it as well and all the other stuff in there. See you in my room in just a second. All right, everybody. So we're in my room right now and we actually got a new member right here. This is the Emperor Snapper, a baby. Beautiful. He's gonna grow up to go in our big 150 gallon tank right here. Look at our two groupers just chilling there. That's a V-tail grouper and a panther grouper to the right. Let's feed them. They know what time it is. They know it's food time. Come on now. Oh, come up top, show them up top, show them up top. Oh, smoke that piece. Get a little under view too. Boom, oh, Panther Grouper slow. just, Panther Grouper just inhaled that, guys. Don't worry, they'll be out for more. Smoke. Panther Grouper absolutely loves that snakehead. He's sick. Yeah, he is cool. I, f I don't really know what type of fish this is. If you guys know, put it down below. Clownfish, right? Some kind I mean, of clownfish. Some fish? type of clownfish. Oh, he just got. Grouper just stole it. He's got hog, buddy. Oh, V-tail. Just look at him. Look at the colors on him, dude. Like, doesn't get any better than that. All right, now we got our largemouth bass. Hold on, let me turn the lights on real quick. We got a little Bertha. We got a. Uh, 
All right, so in this tank, we got our we got our largemouth bass and our peacock bass. I know I need to do a little bit of a water change and add some water, but uh, look at Tank. He's getting real big. The largemouth bass is named Tank if you guys are new to the channel. The peacock bass, we don't have a name for it yet, so you guys comment down below what you guys, what we should name the peacock bass. All right, Tank. The time's shine, buddy. Whoa! Tank! Tank, chill, my boy. Ooh, smoked it. All right, peacock guy. Oh, you can't even get none, dude. There you go. All right, y'all. So that is a wrap on today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys hit that like, subscribe button. It means a lot to me. It helps out a lot. And also comment down below what you guys want to see next here on the channel. Damn, I bit my tongue. <laughs> Till next time, I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.